Hey guys, we're back again with another video today. I'm not gonna waste a long time on the intro. It's about microphones again. You saw that in the title. In my never ending quest to find the perfect dual lav mic system, for me, the issue still remains reliability. The, the Rode Wireless Go 2, I have not experienced that same high level of reliability that I normally experience with all of the other products I get from Rode. It doesn't instill confidence in me like the original Wireless Go did. So I'm still continuing to look for that next that next best thing. Which leads us to today's video, the Hollyland Lark 150. This little dual microphone kit came out before the Rode Wireless Go 2. It offered that dual system that everybody was asking for where you had the two lav mics. So I've done some outside tests, which not do anything too fancy. At least that's what I told myself when I started this. But then I got out here and it's a pretty day, but you know, it's, it's really bright outside. So I'm like, well, I'll put the ND filter on. And then I'm like, well, it's so bright outside with the ND filter on that I'm so dark because I'm kind of under the shade here. Otherwise, I got to bring this light in here. Simple, but not so simple. But we're not here to talk about the lighting or the any of that stuff here. But what we're talking about today is this little lav microphone system here. So one of the things I think is pretty unique about the Hollyland kit is it comes in this little box here, kind of like AirPods. Everybody has AirPods and you've heard of them. Everything goes right in here. Here's the other other receiver right here the whole box So you have a USB plug here on the back You can plug this in charge the box So not only do you have the internal batteries in your transmitters and receivers They constantly keep a charge like this thing hasn't been plugged in for like a month And I pulled it out and started making this video today. Everything's fully charged up quality wise I really like this little system here having this box. It holds the uh, Receiver here and then the two transmitters on either side and there's this little tray up here that I usually put the uh the 3.5 millimeter cable that goes into the side of the camera. So far now, if they sound good, I haven't really done a lot of testing with them to see how, how well they perform. You know, I need to test these out. And I think, you know, these, these are pretty decent lav mics. You, you tell me in the comments below, how is this sounding? This is the lav mic. We didn't go fancy. That, that's not what we do on this channel. We don't, we don't do things fancy. One of the things I was kind of curious about, especially with the FX3 is, does the camera sound different if I plug it into the side of the camera or are the preamps better if I plug it in uh, via the 3.5 millimeter jack that's on the uh, XLR handle. I don't even know. So maybe we'll, we'll test that out here in a little bit. I purposely came out here to do this because there's lawn mowers going over there. There's a weed eater going over here. This is, this is an environment we'll test it out. And then I can walk around a little bit out here in the wind and everything. We can do a little range test. Let's just do a little walk here and see what we've got. Got my back to you. Probably gonna go about 100 feet, I really think. You know, if you can hear me here at this distance with the camera, I, I think we'll probably be fine. I don't really see a need to be any further than this from my camera. I know people do these range tests where they'll get on a bicycle or in a car and, and ride, you know, all around their neighborhoods or across the lake or whatever. I'm not gonna do that. I just don't think it's practical or realistic. So that's what you're gonna get from me for range test, but I think it's a real world range test. So let's take these inside and see how they sound. I'm gonna go ahead and listen to the audio that I got here. We'll also take it inside and we'll plug it into the XLR input. But I just wanted you to, to hear out here what we get sound wise. You have the, all the same functions you have on most of these dual lav kits where you can have the stereo channels, where you can have like the right channel will record at the audio you set and then the left channel will record at like six decibels lower than that. That way you have sort of a safety channel. This does that. This also, when you hook the two microphones up, basically one of the microphones goes to the left channel and one of the microphones goes to the right channel. Or you can do a stereo where you mix them. All kind of different stuff you can do with this. It's really nice having that safety channel. Even when I do something by myself, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get one of these dual recorders because it has that safety channel in it because it's got the the two channel thing. And the other thing I really like about this is the receiver piece that goes on the camera. It's got knobs, sort of analog knobs. And I just enjoy that tactile feel of turning knobs. And I just feel like I can get really nice granular control of what I want. I mean, it still clicks one, two, three, you know, like any other one, but I just, I like the knobs. What can I tell you? I like the knobs. The trade off for that is the receiver part that goes on your camera is quite a bit larger. Where on the the road setup they're all pretty much the same size which by the way these now your transmitters that you wear on your body are way smaller and they have the built-in microphone on top i have the lav mic plugged in they've got the little clip it fits in the in the cold shoe um they're smaller than the ones from road but the receiver is larger so i guess it's like a trade-off in the end I, I like the form factor of these bottom line and so far from what i've heard is i i like the the sound of the audio 
the value, what you get here. That's what's really, really nice about this one where I think it stands out from its competition. In addition to the two transmitters that you get and the one receiver, you get not one, but two included lavalier mics. I haven't even unbundled this one yet. The TRS cable to be able to hook it to your DSLR camera. You get a TRRS cable which allows you to hook it to a smartphone. That's what this guy is. It's got the three rings on it. It also comes with these little included little little wind muff gigs that, so if you wanna use the uh, directly on the receiver without the microphone, it's almost got like a little 3.5 millimeter plug that goes in the, the mic jack here and it creates a little, little wind muff for it so it stays on nice. So you've got your USB to USB type C plug. I haven't used it because I have so many USB-C cables, but this is what you use to charge the case. And it all comes in this nice little uh, little bag that's branded with Hollyland and the uh, the Lark 150 logo on it. Got all your little cables right in here. Bring it, tie it nice up here in your little satchel. And you've got everything you need to take with you on set or if you're making vlogs or whatever. And just fits in a little corner of your bag and you've got your whole audio kit. Really, really nice. Let's try this out in some different configurations and see if we run into any of the same issues we ran into with the uh, wireless go to. So right now we're plugged into the side of the camera, but the XLR handle that's on top of the FX3 has a 3.5 millimeter input. I'm kind of wondering in my mind, are the preamps a little better in that guy? So now we are plugged into the top handle into the 3.5 millimeter jack. Does this sound better? I definitely had to adjust the levels a little bit. I feel like it still might be a tad hot, but we can fix it. We can fix it because we have that safety track. We got a safety track going on. So how does this sound? That's basically what I'm wanting to know. Whether the XLR inputs work for this microphone on the FX3. We'll decide that in a second. That's going to be my next try. But if that doesn't work, I'm going to come back to you here and we're going to be using the Zoom H6 and I'm going to try it in the 3.5 millimeter and in the XLR on that one as well and just see how we get. And then we can link that video and audio up in post. We are using the XLR inputs on the FX3. Why can I not remember the name of my own camera? I'm staring right at it and can't remember the, the, the name of it. It's right there on the camera. FX3. Sony FX3, XLR handle, XLR input and the Hollyland Lark 150 going right into it. On my monitor down here, it looks like my levels are almost peaking. On the camera, they do not look like they're peaking. So that's what we're saying, kids. Fingers crossed. All right, let's try it on the Zoom H6 and see what we get. So now we're recording and we are using the uh, Zoom H6 and we're going in through the uh, XLR input here on the Zoom H6. I can keep my levels and make sure they look like they're hitting pretty good. A little, little hot there sometimes, but theoretically now that I'm using a, you know, semi-professional recorder, that the audio that we're getting from this device here, the Hollyland Lark 150, should be vastly improved over the audio that we were getting when we were plugged directly into the side of the camera for its preamp. So in my mind, now I haven't listened to this yet, so in my mind, you know, when we're plugged into the side of the camera, it should probably be like the lowest quality. Then when we plug into the handle on top of the camera, it should be a little bit better. And then this should be the best quality here. I could be 100% wrong, and I've been known to be very wrong in everything I've said. And you can definitely correct me if you're like an audio nerd, because I, I don't know a lot about audio. This is using the Zoom H6 with this through the XLR. So now what I'm going to do, and this is the big test, because this is where I had a lot of problems with the road, is when we plugged into the Zoom H6, but we did it directly into the uh, 3.5 millimeter. That was where this little gimmick right here, the guys from Rhodes said this device isn't shielded properly for these sort of wireless transmissions. So we're going to see. We'll see right now. Let's let's go ahead and, uh, and stop and see what we got. Okay, so now we are on the Zoom H6 using the 3.5 millimeter input. I put on my headphones and I've got them connected here because I wanted to hear if I heard that buzzing sound before I went ahead and edited this. And I don't hear it. I mean, I, maybe faint when I, I put the headphones on, I turn the volume way up, but I almost think it was just like noise. I don't, I don't hear that same buzzing sound. I don't have any interference with this just, you know, basic kind of inexpensive cable that comes with this. So this is the audio going directly into 3.5 millimeter input on the H6. So we've heard it in the 3.5 millimeter on the camera. We've heard it in the 3.5 millimeter and the XLR on the top handle of the FX3. We've now heard it in the 3.5 millimeter and the XLR input of the H6. I'll let you decide what you think sounds better. And then we heard it outside, just in the side of the camera. And, you know, 
that was more of a realistic environment when you're gonna be using this outdoors. This is sort of a little bit more of a controlled environment we're in here. From all I've listened to so far was the outside stuff plugged into the side of the camera. And I've gotta say, I really, really like, we're gonna finish just right here on this because I'm confident this is gonna work. The Holly Land Lark 150 is an excellent value. I really like the case that it comes in. I'm enjoying so far the sound that I have. Now the reliability, I can't speak to that yet because I haven't used it enough, but I'll definitely make another video if there's a problem with it. But as far as value for what you get and the audio that you get out of it, I think it rivals its competitors. In hindsight now, I might have bought this over the Wireless Go 2. This is a really nice product. I'm curious to try some of Hollyland's um, video transmission stuff. That's something that I'm needing as some of the productions I'm working on are getting a little bit bigger and it's a little easier to have that video transmission system. I'm, I'm excited to try some of those products from them, as well as some of the other companies that do the video transmission stuff. But for right now, I think this is a really good value for microphone. I'll, I'll put the price again up here somewhere. Anyways, if you found value on this video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. I feel like this might've been a little long as is. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.